Good morning, y'all. Good morning, and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. And it is Sunday, folks, which you all know is my favorite day of the week. No question, it's planning day. So I got up this morning, and the first thing I did was I caught up on some comments, and then I caught up on some videos. And as promised, I also wanted to share some happy mail with you that has arrived. And I've gotten in so many amazing military card challenges. At, I have like stacks of them. And what I'm doing is I'm organizing them so that I can share with you, uh, especially some of the highlights. I know that a lot of people share them on their channel, but I still want to take the time to actually show them to you. They're pretty spectacular. And so I'm going to spread them out over the next coming week. But it's super exciting. And thank you all so much for watching and commenting on the adhesion test or the preliminary results yesterday. Just so you know, um, Jimmy, Jimmy Lanny, which is really Lanny, I'm going to, Lanny, I'm going to do a, and I have done, a full page test. So one of the questions posed yesterday, which I thought was such a smart question by Lanny, was, okay, so 450 quick dry from Hellmars adheres perfectly like our glitter glue when it's on a three by four. But what happens when we do an eight and a half by 11 sheet, right? When we lay that down, because when you're doing albums or you're doing books, you're usually using larger sheets of paper. I thought about that too, Lenny. So I've also done that test. And I definitely think that no matter what glue you use, when you're working with that size, you have to bone fold. So I did, as I told you, I did oh natural and no bone fold, so you guys could see. And then I did one where I did bone fold. Because I think that no matter what glue you use, you have to bone fold when you're, when you're scaling up. So that will be in the final test results. I'm also thinking that I might, I know that Misty C and loads of people are really in love with the tonic glue, which is made by Nuevo, like the Nuevo tonic glue. And I know it's really pricey also. But if we're looking at this carefully and trying to decide what's worth it per ounce, I don't know that I can leave that out of the adhesion test. And I was thinking about that over the weekend. Um, just because it's another fan favorite, like our glitter glue. And, you know, I think a lot of um, crafters on here have been really great about sharing why it's their favorite. And I think I can't leave it out and I can get it here really fast. So I think we're going to add that glue so that our glue test is really comprehensive this time. Really comprehensive. So when I first got this package, which comes from Donna. Hey, Donna. Um, when I first got it, I thought, oh, it's got to just be the military car challenge because I know she was doing it. And, but of course, Donna never just sends like one thing. Um, and I was blown away when I cut into the envelope. I haven't looked at it because I really wanted to share it with you here. Um, but I was like so moved right away. First of all, so we have this amazingly large key ring. And then these are so pretty, guys. Basically, they are these adorable tags. And I think this is from one of the digital collections that Donna's using. Donna, you have to tell us where this collection is from because I have never seen it before. And she has cut them out in like a tag flip format for me. And she has distressed all of the edges. It's so pretty, guys. And it's like adorable. Like it's like there's this like little mouse cooking in the kitchen. I mean, it's unbelievable. I was flipping through these and there's doubles so I can use them to make all sorts of things. Look at this one. So I think the magic of a digital collection, and I'm starting to realize this, y'all know I'm just like, I'm like, well, what's the cost per printing of page? But as Lily's pointed out, and I think Donna has shown us, and I think like people like Trace of Sparkle or um, tea, Teacups and Dolls has shown us, is that sometimes with a digital collection, you just get some other paper and other prints that you just don't get access to. Not at any Tuesday morning or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And guys, this is so cute. Like this is just so cute that I was like, wow, Donna. Oh, I love this one. It's like he's sailing. Look, guys, he's sailing in a flower pot. It's amazing. Um, she made the most beautiful card. And it says, just some bags and boxes I got from Pinterest and I to use as templates. Because, and this is beautiful. She says, dreams come in a size too big so we can grow into them. So in other words, Donna, this was so thoughtful. Donna sent this to me because she knows I'm a little bit afraid of cartonage, right? Oh, and we learned, we learned cartonage is not really the right word. I'm afraid of making cartons in 3D projects, but I promised myself this year and I'm already starting that I'm just gonna embrace it. And so Donna thought, okay, Alicia, I'm gonna send you some things that I'm using or I have used as templates from Pinterest. Now, how thoughtful is that? That, okay, so I was so moved by the swap that Tree and, and Kathy recently did because it's really thoughtful. It's like, let's put together a kit to help you make a whole project. And that's essentially what Donna's done for me. 
she has made me a carton and 3D making kit. And when someone does that for you, that is like, it's just epically thoughtful. So first of all, I want to draw your attention to this card because it's like seemingly simple, but one of the prettiest cards I've seen. Um, each layer I want you to know is both distress stained and distressed edges. So all the edges of this are frayed and the detail in person on this card, it's magnificent. It's just magnificent. It's this gorgeous floral piece adhered distressed black stained around the edges, probably using black soot. I'm, I'm guessing it looks like black soot to me. And then we have a layer of the yellow poking through underneath, again, lightly distressed. And then the next layer is black paper, but it's been hardcore distressed um, in terms of like with a knife or a machine. And then the Tiffany blue as the back layer. So one, two, three, four, five layers. Folks, beautiful, just beautiful. And the inside is the matching coordinating swirl paper. Look how pretty this is. This is such a pretty card. Sorry, I, you know, card making is new for me. So I love studying them, right? And uh, Donna, Donna makes everything beautiful, but uh, you have to see the cards. I'm more touched that I cannot believe that you did all this, that you found a way to like send me all these materials that you have been like learning how to make from Pinterest. And guys, you know, Donna never makes anything. Look at this, unbelievable. And look at the attention to detail on this. Can I just share this with you? And this is a pocket to hold the pieces from Pinterest that she found. So what I'm learning, first of all, I love all the distressing on the back. Look at this. So we have like distress layers built up on chipboard or thick cardstock, at least 110 pound, if not cardstock. Frayed, distress stained, lace on top with this beautiful applique and then a little um, floral, uh, not floral, lace bow with a pearl. And this is just to create a pocket to send me the pieces from Pinterest that she thought I would find useful. Like that's incredible, pa oh, and they are so, how did you find Chanel? Oh, Donna, this was, guys, look at this. So Donna knows I teach, um, I teach fashion at a school, an art school. It's one of the classes I teach. I'm teaching one this term on fashion and wearable art. And wait until you see what she sent. It's like the most thoughtful thing because it's like all sorts of things she found on Pinterest, like these high fashion dresses. And then these wonderful things that say like, I will not buy any more scrap of paper until I use what I have in my stash. And then I laughed and laughed. You know, I'm doing my best. I'm so doing my best. Um, I have not bought anything. Be really proud of me folks, except for the glue test, nothing. <gasps> and this guy's really cute. These. So one of the things that Dawn has been trying to explain to me is that when she's building for patterning, it's okay, honey, walk through and get coffee, um, that she uses Pinterest as a source. And I have not tried doing that yet, but look at all these beautiful pieces. Oh, I love these. Guys, look at these. And look at the size of them. They're like the size of my hand. Wow. So like, I love that this is who Donna is. Like, she's like, all right, girly, I've been telling you about Pinterest. I found a bunch of these things. I think you're going to like them. But then she put like all this care into each one. So this is a little envelope and she's attached a ribbon. She's distressed stained it so I can see it. And she pulled this image and print off of Pinterest. And it's nice and thicked up. This is beautiful cardstock quality. See, to me, this is like, this is like prima quality except she's printed it from Pinterest, probably on 110 pound. And that's why it feels the way it does, right? Um, so the gift of this is that what she's done is, oh my gosh, this one's Alice, folks. <gasps> Look at this, Paul. Okay, so this is for all of my bookmaking too. So the idea from Donna is that I'll learn that you can get, just like Alicia Love Letter Generation was saying today, you can get patterns and prints on Pinterest. And I have not been taking advantage of that. I'll tell you mostly because I always worry about the cost of ink. But I know that several people like Donna, look at these envelopes. Donna, I'm swooning. So not only is this a full envelope, but it has a writing spot. So again, for bookmaking. And so what she's trying to show me is that digitals can yield like way more stuff, way more interesting stuff that we've never seen. Um, and so she printed a bunch to show me and also like glued on a bunch. Like these are thank yous that she did by printing the tag and then adhering the bottom herself. And this is just her way, oh my goodness, these handmade tags. This is her way of showing me the value of Pinterest. And like how if I go on 
and I you know, spend a day maybe investigating, I too will find templates for cartons like this. And I cannot believe the, you know how much time this takes to do for somebody? To like, especially because it's all geared towards my taste. That's the other thing. First of all, I'm sure you all noticed I've got tons of Tiffany blue. Then the rest of it's all high fashion because of now Donna knows what I do every day. This was incredibly thoughtful with a matching like high fashion tag with a fashion illustration. Look at this purse template. So to go through, oh Donna, look at this. All right, girly, you've convinced me. That's what this package has done, folks. It has convinced me that I am underutilizing the prints available on Pinterest and maybe elsewhere. And I think Donna knowing that I'm trying to really embrace and get over my carton issue and knowing that I love to make envelopes and policy envelopes and I'm trying this year not to, I like Marilyn, I'm trying not to buy any pre-done packaging. I'm trying to do it all myself. <gasps> Donna. Oh guys, I am going to faint. Look at this Chanel number five. Donna, did you laminate? You laminated this. Guys, so what she did was she took a Chanel. She printed out a Chanel fragrance bottle. Kind of like on a Xyron. She put it onto, I don't know if what car, what pound cardstock. And then she laminated to make it like, it's like an acetate vinyl coated. I can use this for anything in my flip books, in my books. And she did it all in Tiffany blue. And you know that's hand colored, right? Donna, I don't even know what to say to you. And the mason jars. So, because I do, sometimes I do like vintage, sometimes I do shabby, and sometimes, as she knows, I'm going to do high fashion. I cannot believe the amount of time you put into this. Like, that's what moves me, folks. Look at this. Like, I'm just, I'm swooning. Why did I never think to do this? Why did I never think to do this? But this is what, okay. So when we talk about, like, Happy Mail and all the things that we send each other, this is a box of possibility. That's what Donna has sent me. She has deliberately chosen like high fashion, vintage inspired, where my love of vintage intersects with my love of a certain kind of shabby. And Donna's paid careful attention and she has printed out all of these for me, colored some of them. Oh. Guys, you have got to see this. And Donna, you've just, this is a game changer. Folks, this is a game changer. I'm going to need a moment. You know how I'm always thinking about innovative ways to send things in packaging? You have got to sit down, folks. I'm teary. I'm so excited. So Donna, this is how Donna has sent both her military card challenge cards and cards she's made for me. Look at this with the book pages. This is, this is unbelievable. First of all, I don't even know where to start. It is a beautiful book. The paper is gorgeous. It is a seamless bind so that you can see how, I mean, Donna can make anything, folks. I always say this to you. She and Miss Jellybean really can make anything. It's astounding. Like, I feel like they, they are born with a certain gift. Um, but when I look at this book, I'm just wowed. Seamless binding, gorgeous trim along the side, and my favorite colors, which you know, Donna. Like, look at my hat. I'm wearing the hat that Emma Stratus made me, right? I love these colors. And then she, on the front, she's attached this amazing ruffle trim that is so pretty. And she's left underneath a little bit of the blue so it peeks through as an edging. And then this, you're not gonna believe this, folks. These are bookmarks, and she's laminated them. They're gonna last forever. They're gonna last forever. Donna. I'm telling you, you have so inspired me today. I can't even. And then this is how she's submitting the cards. It's in this beautiful book. So you got to see this. Look at this. These ones are for me. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this card. Do you see it? You have taken all of my loves. I cannot believe this. Guys, it's coffee, my fashion love, and my sunglass addiction. And she's created a card in Tiffany Blue out of it. Look at this. And this, guys, is 3D. You can't, I don't know if you can see it on my camera. There you go. It's propped up 3D. This is, yeah, that's chipboardy. That's beautiful. All hand dyed, all hand colored. So this has got an ombre effect, which you won't get as much on my camera, which is such a shame. 
because the attention to detail in this water falling of color is mind blowing. And inside it says, coffee is always the best inspiration. I have no words, Miss Donna. I have no words for the beautifulness of this card. And to make a book out of old book pages to submit, which of course you know I'm gonna use over and over. And then veteran cards. So we have our military. These are for active or deployed. And then she has sent her veteran cards. And I'm not gonna read the, her notes because I'm not sure if they're sealed. I would love to show you one because Donna is a beautiful maker. And I won't share the inside note, Donna. Um, look at this. Look at this, folks. In honor of our veterans with that beautiful, beautiful ribbon. I'm going to share these properly when I do the share, but I had to share just one with you. This is unbelievable. I mean, Donna is a, you know, a really special maker. And I think we learn a lot from the likes of she and Misty and Jellybean. Um, I'm certainly like blown away with inspiration this morning. On the back it says, life should not be a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely in an attractive and well-preserved body, but rather to skid in sideways, body thoroughly used up, totally worn out, screaming, woohoo, what a ride. And isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? That's like my model for life. So, first of all, I want to say to Donna, thank you for all the care you put in this package. Thank you for showing me the possibilities I have not yet paid attention to. And, and you printed them all out in like every possibility and color that I could be interested in so I could see the magic. But this, game changer. Game changer for me for sending in submission. And these cards... Folks, if you don't know Miss Donna Dreams, I would be very, very surprised. Anyone who has any interest in ever making like a stunning purse or like one of the, like a gorgeous book that has each page has been handcrafted or you love anything shabby, you want to be subscribed to her channel without question. But more than that, what kind of person spends the kind of time doing this? That's what I want to draw your attention to. Who searches out Pinterest to find fashion-related boxes? The kind of person who cares a lot about his community. I'm putting Miss Donna down below. Give her tons of love because I am, Donna, I'm blown away. This was epically thoughtful. And this is the kind of gift that like, it's going to give me lessons and inspiration. And it's like when you say to someone, don't give them a fish, give them a fishing rod, teach them how to fish. This is a box of teaching me how to fish. This is a box of, now I see the possibilities of patterning. Now I see what I could possibly be gaining if I sought these out. And you gave me tons to practice on. Thank you. All right, y'all. I'll be back on later today with some more mail and some more updates and all sorts of fun. And you know, I love Sunday for planning and I have a bunch of new products to share with you like art-based products. Those that I think that some of us may want to start adapting in our crafting making. Even though they're designed for fine art, I think we can use them to effect. All right, y'all. Donna, thank you so much. I will see you all later today, whatever you're doing. I hope it's a really happy Sunday. You know I love Sundays, y'all, so much. Wishing you a happy, creative, and inspired Sunday. Bye for now.